so the first one that is the exponential growth seen in habitat with unlimited resources resources means we are talking about food and space so one graph is there that is exponential graph that deals with unlimited resources unlimited food supplies there unlimited space is there so as many as individuals can grow as many as individuals can develop second model that we will talk about is logistic in that we are going to discuss a possibility when there is limited resources that is quite realistic that we have limited resources how we are going to develop in that resource so each species has the ability to fully to realize fully its innate potential to grow in number so whatever it's its maximum potential it can grow to that level so you can see the graph also that population size versus time graph that is it is exponential just growing and growing what is the equation dn by dt is equals to b minus d into n dn by dt that is the population density uh, at a particular small time span b minus d is equals to r means birth rate minus death rate dn by dt is equals to r and if i am replacing b b minus d with r so it will going to be dn by dt is equals to r n n means the population number which is there the population density so n refers to the population size b is the birth rate d is the death rate r that is b minus d it is referred as intrinsic rate of natural increase okay e you know that when we are talking about e we are talking in terms of log value so it is the base of normal logarithms next model is the logistic model so as i told you that none of the resource is unlimited in the population so with considering that the resources are limited how we are going to survive how the growth is going to be there it is logistic growth so carrying capacity as i told you what is a carrying capacity carrying capacity is basically that value which determines how much maximum food supply or resources can be given to a population how much food supply is there which can support a particular population population with limited resources lead to competition yes obviously people are going to compete for the best of the resource eventually the fittest individual will survive and reproduce so the survival of the fittest is valid over here carrying capacity it states that a given habitat has enough resources to support a maximum possible number beyond which no further growth is possible so suppose if i say carrying capacity is 60 means only 60 individual can be fed by that food be above 60 even if it's 65 or 67 individuals cannot be fed so this is carrying capacity which is denoted by k a population growing in a habitat with limited resources exhibit initially a lag phase so here you can see this is a lag phase a plot of n in relation to t that is population size with relation to time it is a sigmoid curve s curve which is there so initially you will get a lag phase after the lag phase you are going to get a exponential phase and after the exponential phase you will get a stationary phase when the uh, population size reaches the carrying capacity so this graph is also known as wall's pearl logistic growth so this is logistic growth graph so how is it represented dn by dt is equals to rn similar to the exponential that dn by dt is equals to r means the intrinsic rate n means the uh, population size in brackets k minus n upon k we also include the carrying capacity in this situation n is the population density r is the intrinsic rate k is the carrying capacity since the resources for growth for most animals are infinite and becoming limiting sooner or later the logistic model is considered as the more realistic one